This is the Bill Conch fingerprint pistol box. It allows for keypad and biometric access, and it has a downloadable app. So this thing does allow for remote access, which I'm not crazy about, but I'm not going to be talking about any of these features. I want to talk about a couple of security issues. One is a matter of potential forced entry, and the other is the bypass lock. First, when I started looking this safe over, I noticed that the keypad is loose on one side. It's so loose that I wondered what would happen if somebody attacked this with a screwdriver and pried the fitting off. I'll show you what I found. Okay, what I've done is I've removed several screws that were holding the housing inside of here in place. Then I pulled it away far enough to access a couple of screws that were holding the keypad in place. I removed the screws and then I reassembled the housing. And so now the safe is functioning the way it's supposed to, except that I've replicated what would happen if someone attacked the keypad and pried it off. You can see there are two brass pieces for screws to thread into. And honestly, I think that if someone attacked this and pried it off, the brass pieces would likely break free and the screws would remain captive and held in place. But I'm not really concerned about these holes. What I'm concerned about is this hole right here for the cable that's passing through. It's big enough that someone can attack the latching mechanism with a paperclip. It's open. The lock installed on this is a seven pin tubular lock with a feature that makes it slightly different from the other tubular locks I come across. The lock I'm holding has a tensioning notch in its plug, but the lock installed in the safe tensions on the outside of the plug. So I can't just shove a standard tubular lock pick down the keyway and pick this without first making some modifications to the pick which is easy enough to do with these. These are HUK brand picks. They are available on Amazon for cheap. The last time I checked, they were 30 or $40 for the set. What I like about these picks is that the tensioning pins are not installed when you buy them. You have to install them yourself. If you look down the ends of these two picks, you can see one has a pin installed and the other does not. This is the one I'm going to use to attack the lock with. What I'm going to do is line up the arrow on the pick with the tensioning notch. Then as I push the pick in, I'm going to let these feeler gauges grab hold of the lock as the pins are pushed down. So I'm basically using the holes in the plug to tension the lock while I'm taking an impression of the pins. And I should mention this tactic works on most of these locks, but not all of them. Um, the way to thwart this kind of attack is to give these locks varied spring tension, heavy, light, heavy, light, and so on. But most of these tubular locks have no security features.